What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me. My name is Jessica. My mother's was a makeup lover, of course. So this is the final Fine Art Beauty palette tutorial. I, well, not the final tutorial, but I'm on the third palette. That They have three palettes. I've did tutorials with the fair, medium, and now today is the day for the deep. Um... Actually, when I went onto the website to purchase the palettes when I seen that they were available, I was heading straight for the deep palette, but then that I seen that they were doing like the bundle. Girl, I love a good bundle. I love a good deal. Do not get me wrong. So I ended up buying all three of the eyeshadow palettes, but this was the one that when I seen it, I was like immediately, yes, that's, that's the one for me. So I am not mad that I have all three of the palettes because the looks that I've been creating with them are so gorgeous and I definitely do plan on doing something a little bit more creative the next time that I dip into one of the other palettes as well like you know cut crease moment halo eye something I was doing like very simplistic wearable looks and I think that's gorgeous that's definitely a vibe um but I definitely want to also do something creative because you could really you could use neutrals like in so many different ways um so yeah this is a look that I'm going to be creating today using the Deep Eyeshadow Palette. Um, of course, I'm going to be doing my eyes as well as my base because the eyes are so super quick and easy. Essentially, just like a smoky eye. Smack some shimmer on that girl. Lashes so long, they touch my eyebrows. Don't get me wrong. It's all a vibe, okay? Um, yeah. So, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned until the very end of the video where I'll do an up close of my makeup for you guys. That way you can see the true beauty of the blend. And if you're curious to see the products that I use to achieve this makeup and how I use them, you're definitely going to want to keep on watching. I know my lashes are absolutely ginormous, but I was doing something like a little more just like a smoky eye. So I really feel like the big lashes are the moment for this one. <laughs> um, so... Once again, I'm using the Fine Art Beauty Deep Palette. This is, come on, like this has to be my favorite. Look at all of these beautiful, beautiful shades. I'm doing things a little bit differently today than I usually would. I'm going to start by taking shade D32, which is this beautiful, beautiful pink. I'm just going to take it on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to lay this down right above the crease area but I'm gonna save room for one more shade on this blend I'm then going to take shade D28 on a packing brush this is a makeup shack T44 I was originally thinking just like a smoky eye of course, I wanted to use one of the shimmers, so I just kind of put it all over the lid. I think it looks cute. So I'm packing this like I would a smoky eye, just all over the lid, like so. On that same brush, I'm going to take shade D12, which is this burnt kind of color here. And I'm going to blend the edges of that darker shade out. I can literally hear my kids downstairs eating chips. They did not ask me if they could get into those chips. But I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them do it. <laughs> I'm gonna take just a dash of shade D31. Again, on the same brush. Just this smallest amount to blend into that pinky shade. Now I still want to go back between all of the colors, but I have one more shade I want to use. This is a Makeup Shack T46 brush, and I'm going to take this, like, beigey shade over here. And I'm going to go ahead and smoke out the edges. So this palette is, you know, it was curated for deep skin tones, so this would definitely be considered a, like, light shade for a, a deep, like, skin Tone. Duh, girl. <laughs> like, look at how pretty that is on my pale ass skin. 
so when I was kind of you like looking at the other palettes, they had these beautiful like orangey burnt shades. And I never actually use those shades, but this this shade in this palette, it is uh, it's like pink gold, like rose gold. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It gives it's giving me like if I had to name the shade, I would call it Firefly. So um this is shade D04 and she's gorgeous she's so pretty um so like i said i was kind of going for like a smoky eye but i decided to just smack this on there so i'm not gonna use any glitter glue or anything look at that just super messy but still very gorgeous now i'm gonna take shade um d9 I'm going to take a liner brush and put this across my lash line. This eyeshadow look is so gorgeous. These lashes that I'm wearing, my, my lashes are just stuck together right here. Um, these are the Beauty Creation Lashes in the style she's, she's a Tease. I believe these are their 35 millimeter, yeah, 35 millimeter lashes. They're big daddies, but like, look at how pretty those are. I seen that Jaclyn Cosmetics is closing down and I'm gen genuinely so sad about it. My least favorite thing from her line was probably the concealer, but her powders are so good, especially like the cream powder blush sticks. So I'm really, really sad because I have like so much Jaclyn products that you guys can't get anymore. So I'm feeling like there's a couple of things like the, p the powders and like the bronzer that I'm going to be using a lot more often just to kind of, um like use them up since it's not something that you guys can really get so i just want you to bear that in mind um like if i do my description and there's not a link it's probably because the product is discontinued or i can't find a link for it so that's very very sad but if you do want to get your hands on some of these products before they're gone um i know there's like big sales going on i think at ulta morphe and possibly even on jacqueline's website where you can buy these things before they're gone um, yeah, so I actually used her concealer to carve up my brows. It's just a very dry formula. I think that's why I don't buy with the concealer too well. I like to use it to mix. Um, mixing with my other concealers, definitely, it, it works a lot better, so I do like that. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, I think that's the gist of it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm going to be using today the Maybelline Superstay Full, Cover Full Coverage Foundation. You know, every time I've been using these foundations, they've been, like, spitting back at me. So, really, I'm just going to cut it off. It's a little bit light, but I think my powder will really even it out. I would prefer for my, um, like, when I'm doing my foundations, if they're a little bit light, like, I could fix that. But if they're too dark, I, I don't know why. Like, I have a really hard time fixing it when they're too dark. Like, when they're light, I could fix them. My face is so dry right here. Like, in this whole area right here. It looks so pale. <coughs> I'm going to take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Boop, boop. You know what I really need to do? I really need to, like, exfoliate my skin. I'm taking the Patrick Ta... Um, one, it's dirty as shit. Hold on, give me one second. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be taking the Patrick Ta, um, double take cream and powder blush shade. She's vibrant, of course, because if I'm going to do, like, this pink on my eye. So, um, you could either use the cream first powder first and be using the cream first because that's how I like to do it. I think because the eyes are so like smoky and like a very similar shade I'm gonna go ahead and take this into my temples like I usually would just like right here for my concealer today I'm gonna be taking the H&B concealer I actually haven't used these two concealers in a while Juvia's Place H&B so of course we gotta go in with those babies today um I feel like this H&B one would actually be a pretty good shade like it's like it's like a really good match for my like actual skin tone and then i'll go ahead and add the juvia's place because this one's super light which i like i like that vibe 
I seen that H and B Cosmetics is coming out with a new foundation. I'm hoping maybe sometime in the next month or so that um my husband will have a little bit of extra funds and I'm thinking that I want to buy her luminous foundation and her new foundation and maybe one of the powders it's like a lot but when I um whenever I shop from like for the UK I always like to buy like a few things to make the shipping worth it for setting my whole face I'm going to take the Maybelline fit me um setting powder my face looks so pale so I'm not gonna brighten because I think we're I think we're bright enough you guys are going to get so sick of this bronzer because I'm going to try to use her up. I'm not going to use it in like every single video, but she's going to be coming out a lot. It's in our dinner. Now time for the powder portion of the Patrick Top Lish. It's in our dinner. Okay. And then, because I'm doing, like, this beautiful, fiery look, I wanted to take the Kaleidos Mars Melter Highlighter. It's giving strawberry. And here is the completed look. Um, if, if I had to name this, it's giving me, like... Like, just, like, I don't know why. Just, like, when I look at this look, I think fireflies. That's that's the vibes that I'm getting from this right now. This is going to be, <laughs> this is the last new palette that I have. As of right now, I have no new eyeshadow palettes. I have not purchased any new eyeshadow palettes. I have not received any new, any other new palettes in PR. So, we are finally caught up. But as of right now, we are all caught up on my eyeshadow palettes. And this is the look that I created using the fine art beauty palette in the shade deep i am so pleased i knew this one was going to be a favorite just because it has those reds those burgundies these are some of my favorite colors even if i don't wear them a lot this is definitely like my favorite colors i actually um am giving up like i gave up my jacqueline x morphe volume two and we're replacing her with this baby um so yeah the formula is gorgeous. The shadows are so stunning. I cannot wait to use these palettes more. Doing in going into the year, I plan on doing just a smidge bit more neutral looks. I'm still a like color girly, do not get me wrong. But I definitely feel like a lot of my videos that people want to see are wearable looks, stuff that you can easily do. So don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna be doing my fun, super creative looks because that's just who I am as a person. But I definitely do want to start incorporating more neutrals into my makeup collection. So yeah. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content. Without further ado, we're going to go down ahead. Roll the clip.